What's up, y'all, and welcome to Tommy T's episode five. Babe, where's your tea? I was just about to say, where is our tea? We ain't got no tea. You imagine that cup because I've seen her do it. Click. Tough stuff, y'all. We don't got no tea today, but it's okay because y'all should have y'all's. But welcome back to My Girl Talk, which is called Tommy Tees. For those who don't know what that is, go watch the last couple of videos that are labeled Tommy Tees and you'll get the gist of what it is. We have my boyfriend with me today. What's good? I'll be watching these, so. I know how they go, but these for girls, so. <laughs> but yes, we have my boyfriend with us today because this video was requested by one of you guys and you guys told me to do a video which is called asking guys questions that girls are afraid to ask, something like that in that way. So I told you guys to send me in a bunch of questions and we're going to be asking my boyfriend and we're going to get his honest opinion why you put emphasis on that because you need to be honest to these ladies don't play with the girls do not play with them period so this video is going to be kind of long so we're just going to go ahead and get straight to the point with these questions kind of long. yeah because our girl talks they'd be over 30 minutes no the last one was 24 minutes oh okay come through with the accuracy it was like 24 16 to be exact oh Check. let's see it was 24 19. I was there, I told you. 24 19. Okay. <laughs> First question. Why do y'all cheat so much and lie about little things? Why do we cheat so much and lie about little things? Well, first and foremost, not every guy cheats. So y'all can't put us in that box just because we guys. Females cheat too. So it goes both ways. It depends. Um, some guys want to weigh out their options. You know, and not satisfied with that one woman. So they want to see who gets their interest the most. And females do that same thing. You can't really put that on one gender. And then what was the second half of the question? And why do y'all lie so much? Oh, I and mean, I feel like that's the same way. Like, females lie as well. But for guys, like, it's just that get out of jail free card. <laughs> like, all right, like, let me just say this real quick to try to get out of trouble. And sometimes it lands you in more trouble. Hmm. Yeah. Even bigger trouble. Yes, females do cheat as well. But, of course, I think guys do it the most and i feel like they just do it because they see their friends do it they see their dads do it they see like what? society normalize you. what you saying they see their dads do yes it. like don't not everybody dad cheat so like that's what that's why I, that's, that's why i said they see their friends do it they see their dads but why do you do it, feel as though that you basically media. calling guys followers when that's not the um case. that's kind of is the case that's not though. the case pretty much it's though not. So, how do you like why what what makes you say that like because a lot of guys see other guys cheat so they feel like they should that's do the it. same you thing can't do something then. if you don't see no one's doing it yes you can you can be the first to do it just because somebody else doing it that don't mean just because i see my man's cheating on his girl that don't mean I'm no i'm not girl. even i wasn't finished talking i said either you see your dad do it, you see your friend it don't do matter it, who or do. you see it like in society you see shows and you see movies yeah, of same people way females getting do. cheated on same way females so do. but it's not portrayed that way guys are portrayed more as the cheating that's why you figure. feel like that because that's how people put it out there in this world that guys are yes, dogs and that's not because the case. they are they're not not all guys are exactly but most not most not most <laughs> all guys aren't but there are guys who you is. got a lot of mature guys over here you got a you lot do. of ones that treat that woman right you do like so you can't label guys as the bad guys you can't do that because a you lot of that that, there's times where females are the ones that's doing the guy wrong. Right. But you yes. ever heard that saying one spoil apple ruins the exactly. whole one? Exactly. It goes both ways. So let me ask you this. Do you think girls cheat more or guys? I don't know who cheats more. I don't feel as though. I, I don't know. You feel me? I don't know everybody's Bet. relationship and everybody's you know. situation. You see. I don't know. Anywho, so that establishes that. So let's move forward to the next question. What hurts more? The finding out your girl cheated or your girl leaving you for good? Ooh. Probably finding out your girl cheated. What? I'm gonna be honest. Because you like finding out your girl leaving you for good. Like most of the time that reason is me because of something you did. So like finding out your girl cheated when you doing right by her. And you no, doing I what think she, she meant to... cheating on you back. And or leaving on you. But I think that's that. what she meant. You can't see you think that's what she meant. Well answer both. Answer both. Well, if it's just her straight up cheating, of course the cheating. Because if a guy's doing right, and like you just said in the previous question, y'all portray us as the ones that do all the dirt. When somebody you've come across a guy that's doing the right thing, and the female do the dirt, yeah, that's a little grimy. But if it was cheating back, then I'm gonna have to say 
the other one, like letting your girl leave for good. Why? Of course, do you mean why? She was doing her wrong, so when she leaves, why you? Why is that her? I mean, that's just how the game go. The game, girls. The game. It's some guys don't care though. Some guys, right, some guys some don't. Some guys be like, okay, like, I'm gonna just let her walk. But most do. You always, you, you in this this most where like you're not a guy, so you can't say what most do. You don't know how we feel. When I speak, I speak based off things I've seen or things I've experienced. Mm. How do y'all talk about us around your homeboy? I mean, if y'all come, negative. It, it depends on how y'all come up in the conversation. If I'm around my homeboys and we talking about our girls, like, yeah, we tell them about, you know, just like how we feel about it. I ain't gonna lie, if you piss me off, like, oh yeah, she pissed me off, such and such. Like, me personally, I can't speak on the way, but I've never, like, talked down on a female. That's not manly to me. Like, that's just gossiping for real. Like, I'm not, I'm not that tight. When guys get together and talk about females, it's mainly about a girl they want. Or trying to hit, to be honest. Oh, wow. So when you get around your friends, do y'all talk about me? You came up in conversation before. But everybody know the deal what? with us. I just, in general, like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about know. before we were dating? To me, ain't nobody know about you before we was dating. I got in, so I got in, I'm I, saying, like, you never brought me up when y'all was. But when y'all were talking about girls, as you just said. Yeah, I didn't brought you up saying, like, y'all like, talking to this little shorty from DC. Shorty? Yeah. I'm no shorty. That's what you was laid with ass. Like, I'm, oh, oh. I'm talking, I got you from DC, like, is she fire? And they like, oh yeah, she like that. Not this shorty from, mm. How do you females talk about guys? Now y'all the ones that go crazy. We do go crazy. We be like, this dude always blowing up my phone. Look at this, he keep DMing me. He keep doing this, 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 and that. Like, it's getting real bad. He trying too hard. Stop right there. That's the if problem. You don't no, want the don't person? cut me off. Stop right there. Stop right there. Cause that's the problem with females. You heard what she just said? It's giving he trying too hard. But when a male doesn't try hard enough, it's it's giving off that he don't care. But it's listen. giving off that he don't really want you because he ain't applying pressure. But the female want the pressure applied. But when we apply the pressure, is he doing too much and he and he trying too hard? But which babe, one do which one do y'all want? Listen, babe. A trying man who you want. Yes, we get it, but if somebody like if a random guy is deeming me keep trying over and over and over again to get my attention, no, that's annoying. Like I clearly don't want you, so why do you keep, you know, talking about To be about honest, me? you might That's be, that's what we would say. As a guy perspective, we might sometimes we might like uh, let me resend it cuz she might not have even seen it. Cuz if you look good, I mean, you probably got a couple of these DMs. So let me let me pop up at back at the top of your joint real quick just in case you didn't see it. That ain't trying too hard. That's just the, the pressure being applied. And I didn't seen it happen many times where the girl wasn't even interested at first. But just off the simple fact that he applied that pressure, like, and she and she got to know him, now the feelings have changed. Well, I'm sorry. If you don't get a response out of me the first time, then that clearly means that I'm good. Yeah, and I got that response the first time. FYI. <laughs> so if I didn't respond, would you try it again? Probably not. That mean he didn't want me for real. You I know? did. No, but he didn't. You, no, that's one thing. You just, you just said it. Nah. Like, if you really like a girl, you're going to resend your message because she clearly got enough, like a lot of DMs to let me pop at the top. Right. I said that, but what I'm saying is like... You didn't want me. No, I did. But what I'm saying is like, it's like, okay, you really might want this girl. But like, I seen you that one time. Like, she, let me hit her up. I probably wouldn't have hit you up again. Like, to, I'm just being honest. So, because sometimes you can feel when a girl, like, being stuck up and like, probably just ignoring you. <laughs> like... If I see you just posted on your story five minutes ago, and I DM you, like, I know you seen it. <laughs> I know you did. But I, you don't want to say nothing cool. Are guys willing to wait till a female is ready to have sex, even if it's a year, or will you cheat? I feel like that right there should be discussed in a relationship. Like, the female should present that to the guy before, like, we even get in a relationship. Simple fact, some guys don't want to wait, and some are willing to wait. It's just... Depends on the guy that you're dealing with, but I do feel as though that should be talked about and said before you get deep into a relationship. I be like, all right, hey, I ain't trying to do this right now. I want to wait. It's up to him whether he want to do that or not. As a guy, I'm just saying as the female, you should let the guy know out of respect. Out of respect. But yeah. how's that out of respect? My thing, by, by respect, I'm saying because like some guys like they feel as though. That's what they should they should be being intimate with their girl in a relationship. You could be intimate by not having intercourse. That's that's like, true. Like intimacy is more than. But I'm talking about that level of intimacy. Does shaving your 
lady parts down there matter. Like, so does the, the woman, she even matter? Yeah. Hell yeah. That matters. For sure. Why? One hair brings stench. <laughs> like, you can't tell me that you gonna have a bunch of hair down there and not sweating. And, <laughs> and it's gonna still smell good. So what do like a, like a little bit of hair? It's all in the guy preference. I, I don't prefer hair. <laughs> Ladies, if the guy really like you and his head down there, he's gonna get busy, period. I'm telling you. I'm telling the you. The guy ain't gonna always get busy, man. <laughs> Just next. <laughs> what is one thing that boys love on girls' bodies? The junk in the trunk? Yeah, I mean, the bat and them things, that's it. <laughs> But that's the eye catcher. Oh wow! So it's not your looks, ladies. It's it is your, it your is body your look. type. It's your looks that the looks count. Like you could be fat, but I, me personally, like you don't look good in the. Well, feet. I know I'm. I was flat, so. But you got beautiful. I don't know. You beautiful. We call his eye then. You good. beautiful. Them eyes. Like I look at. I look at other features as well. For a guy, I don't even find guys attractive. So, so how did you find me attractive? I don't know if it's just me or if it's just like girls in general, but I know that I'm never like gonna reach out to a guy and be like, yeah, you're cute. That's just something. I so you never, know. you never like the guy picture and like put the hard eyes. If on I it. like your picture, that just man like your picture. But I know I've never commented on the guy's stuff who wasn't my dude. Nope, never. Yeah. That's facts. Why do boys lie about their body count? Why do boys lie about their body count? Because they don't want you to know that they're a. Uh, H O E. I don't want to say that. I just think it, it makes the female feel more secure. <laughs> so, like, they try to tell them something that it ain't really is. So, it can happen. Females do the same thing. If they yeah, they been, do. They've been going crazy. They do. Why? <laughs> Why? Because they don't want you to know that they be getting busy. That's sad. I know a couple people like that. That's sad. Why do y'all cheat rather than leave or just tell the truth? Yeah, why do y'all do that? Like, I never understood it. Like, if you want to go out here and be with multiple females, okay, we get it. Why don't? Why do you have to put us through torture when you can just go do what you want to do and leave us alone? It's actually worse finding out they're cheating on you versus them just breaking up with you. I'm not sure on that one, cause like, like I said, like a lot of these questions is probably the stuff that y'all have been through with a specific guy, and every guy is different. So that's my thing on that. Like with some guys, like I can just speak on from a guy perspective. Some guys want the best of both worlds. Like they want to do them out there and then they want to still come home to a woman. Like still oh, wow. come home to you. I ain't going to lie to you. It's, it's some female that's out here that actually cool with that. Yeah. It's like open relationships is a thing. They're a thing. Could be me. Open relationships are definitely a thing. I'm not. With the open relationship, yeah, 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 I ain't with that. Everybody has that preference, and if that's his preference, and that's what you want to do, that's what you do. I can't speak for everybody. Well, his preference can get him out of my face. How do guys feel when their girl asks them to get them pets? Me, I don't feel like nothing. I just feel like I'm trying to make sure I get the right ones. <laughs> Cause when you go in there, like you be looking, like all of them look the same. You gotta really sit down and read the detail on the package. Like when you had made me go to the store for you. Like, I made sure I had the picture up and I was reading it word, <laughs> reading it word for word. Like, okay. I'm so dead. Poor baby. Ultra. Ultra. <laughs> three times. Five. <laughs> All right. Heavy. Like, I'm making sure, like, every it's it. And when it, when one word is wrong, I'm like, all right, that's not the right one. So it's how like, long it feel like a journey. How long you been there? Probably a good 10 minutes. Bruh. Oh, God. I be making sure the brand is right. Like, I told you, I got the wrong brand. Got the off brand. <laughs> and I had to go back. I was getting rung up and everything. And I was like, these are the right ones. You was like, um, that's the off brand. But <laughs> I was like, all right, I gotta go back. Why don't boys talk about their problems? Cause we deal with them with fuck with ourselves. Like most of the time, like as guys, we just wanna handle them ourselves. We don't need nobody else to handle them for us or help us handle them. Like I'm that way. I told you that. Like, if I got a problem, like, hmm. But so reflect I'm just handling myself. But isn't it better when you do tell me? It depends on what it is. What you mean it depends on what it is? Because sometimes if it's like about you, like if it's a problem with you, sometimes it might cause more of an argument. So like sometimes I just deal with it with myself and like, okay, how can I fix this situation? And then it get fixed without you even knowing it was a problem. But sometimes that can be bad on my end because you never knew it was a problem. Right. Which is why it's always good to communicate with your partners, whether you're a guy or a girl. 
communication is key. Like he will always tell me. Right or wrong? That's right. So do you communicate with me? Of course. Or do you hide stuff? Oh, uh, you know I communicate with you. What is a big turn off? Um, for me, that hygiene. <laughs> like, I feel like a, a woman's food is no good. Like, me personally, I like when, when a woman walk past me, you know that when, you should be able to smell her. I think that's a bit too much. No, I don't. Because you got that. What? You have that. You got, like, that scent. Like, I feel like you should definitely smell good. Um, personality. If your personality is not good, that's a major turn off. Major turn off for me, like, you can't be boring as hell. Like, that's number one on my list. Personality, for real. Like, the looks and everything come after. But if your personality ain't it, you can't get nowhere. Because the personality is what makes you vibe and make you gel with the person. But that person can bring the personality out of you, though. And I can get them a shot? Um, I feel like it should be natural. It shouldn't have to be forced out of you. It's not forced. I'm saying, like, if you vibing with a person, like, the more comfortable you get, the more you learn about the person well, you're with. Right, I feel you. Like, but what I'm saying is, like, you, your personality that you have now wasn't the personality that I got when I first met you. But it still was some sort of personality. Like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, something like, well, you know, you got that indication, like, all right. I can I can vibe with that like and then the rest comes later like you just stated but that somewhere it's just like you ever came across a guy and you be like this is not it <laughs> you have right that's what I'm saying yeah you can't be dry as a piece of toast baby you not gotta have some light cause I know me I bring light like right then don't I bring light to the table yes I so do what I do huh what I do you got personality too I don't bring life you do. See, like, the thing about us, Bay is more out there, and I'm not. What you mean out there? Like, you know, like, you know, you vibe with everybody. I don't. I gotta read the room first before I vibe with everybody. Like, I was in school the other day, and everybody like, oh, I'm so shy. Like, we had to do these interviews, and I was an interview coach because, you know, like, me, like, I could talk. Uh, and don't do that. Go ahead. I can talk, and especially when I know what I'm talking about, like, yeah. So I volunteered to be the girl's interviewee, and she was interviewing me. And like, when she was talking, like, she kept stuttering, she kept being shy. And I'm like, sis, you gotta slow down, you gotta ask me a question, you gotta let me speak. And you know, then I was hoping her out. So then, when I was coaching everybody else, they was like, I'm so shy, like, I can't do this. Tell me, how would you do an interview? I was like, this is how I'm starting my interview. I'm like, good morning, how are you? Yeah. What are you even talking about? You just ranting. No, I'm talking like about like. like talking too much right I'm now. talking about my personality. Like I'm not like I'm shy. Yes, but whatever. Because <laughs> you're not listening, so it don't matter. Because <laughs> you're just talking. It don't matter. Do guys be insecure in relationships? I yes. don't know. Like I, I can't speak on that because I know I'm not. For a guy, for example, if. You dating me. like a, a model that models in lingerie, right? You can't be insecure about her body. Like, because like you don't want other guys saying like comment like damn she fat da, da, da. and you and you thinking that she messing with these guys like mm -hmm. that's what you signed up for. You feel me? That's who you wanted to date, so it's like it's the same thing with her. Like she's a public figure. She's a beautiful young lady. And being as though like she in the limelight like, when she posts her pictures and stuff, I know it's gonna be mad comments but you just gotta know your place as a guy you gotta know your place same way with a girl especially being a rapper's girlfriend you will get tested my patience is very very thin she's still learning to this day but it yeah because it's something new every day with a rapper i don't think it was as good when we first started dating though like you had to it was some getting used to when we first started dating, it wasn't really much. And she still ain't even got, like, all of it yet. Because, like, as of right now, like, a lot of stuff Just is shut down. Like, yeah, so I ain't been able to travel as much as I normally do. Like, all of that. Yeah, I'm not ready for that part. Everything is just not for your girl to go to. Like, you, on the other hand, thinking, like, well, I'm your girl. You ain't asking me to go. You probably trying to do something. It's just like, Because no, like, I would have asked you to go with me. It's just like, everything is not for you, though. You and everything me? ain't for you, but exactly. I still ask you. Agree. Everything not for me, but if you ask, you ask. I don't like females. Point blank, period. Don't blink around him. If you that, see him over there getting right. something to drink, you turn away and you wait till he's done. <laughs> that mindset is going to make you have a lot of attitudes. What? 
attitudes. You feel like every every female is trying to hit on you. Sometimes it, I know females. Sometimes it really. Sometimes it's like you it know guys. Be, yeah, some, I know females. Sometimes it, it it be business. It's not just straight up coming. Hey, like let me hear your number. Like that's guys. Sometimes females is coming to like, hey, like. If they a promoter, if they models, like they trying, they they looking for opportunity. It might be a bad little chick, like she might be a video vixen, like you might could use it for a video. It's there's so many different things. You ain't built for this game, like you're not built for the industry or to be dating anybody in the line. Like if you gonna feel like that, that goes for anybody. Why do guys rather hang out with their friends than their girlfriend? I try to balance both of them. I don't really go out much with friends. Can you agree? Yep. Especially being a rapper, like. On this time, like it's been crazy. You got a lot of people that envy. So just gotta watch who you be around. My friends are guys that I grew up with that's been around for some time. Like so when I do go out with them or I'm somewhere with them, like I know I'm good. But most of the time, like I'd rather just stay low and just chill. Only pop out when needed. Answer that question. What? Flip it. What do females what? Cause some females like to go out and party more versus being at home. Oh guys. yeah, I'm not a party type of chick. I've been partying since high school, so I don't have time to party anymore. Parties are so late. People who party now and go out, like always want to go to the club and stuff now, they probably didn't have as much freedom as I did growing up, so which is why they do it now. I've always been around crowds that are older than me, so I, that's not my type of element. Why do guys keep their ex nudes or any girl's nudes that's not their girlfriend? What? I don't like what I need that for. But I do know that just in case somebody try you, like, you got that, that upper hand. That's my thing on it. Like, I don't know why. I feel as though it's weird, though, to keep them at the same time. Like, what you doing with them? <laughs> just going to look at them every now and then. Like, me personally, like I said, I don't need them. So, what about you? What's your take on that? Some people use them, like, and keep them just to have that upper hand. Because sometimes with, with an ex, like, you don't really end off on good terms. So you be beefing. We didn't see like beefing go over to social media. It didn't got real crazy. I think anybody that exposed anyone is so. <laughs> I, I do too though. I feel like exposing is definitely childish and like what you would say like late. Like I feel as though like it's. Exposing is real late. Grow up. That's why I said like what's the, what's the point? It's just weird. Like, you really weird. Why y'all always on that game? Because that's where our peace is at. <sighs> when you getting on my nerves. I was saying, when, when, when he mad at me, he plays his game. Yep. And then I got to check my PSN network to see if he online. I'm never online. Nigga, you invisible. Mm -hmm. I tell I appear offline just so she can't track me. So you don't know when I'm on. I, I learned that. Because, like, when you mad, you like, yeah, you was playing a game. Like, no, you don't know what I was doing. Don't try. What you mean? I don't know what you was doing. Don't that's play. That's what me. I'm saying. Like you don't know what I was doing. I wasn't playing the game. Sometimes I write because that's like that's when I make my hits and she pissed me off. If I told you I love you, would you believe me? You wrote those when you was mad at me. What I wrote one when I was when I was mad at you. I can't remember which one. Well, when he made me mad, I just I don't know what I do. <laughs> I go to sleep and then when I wake up and don't see no text from him, I get pissed off even more. So I go back to sleep. And do it over again to see if it takes Exactly. Me again. That's that pride. No. Instead I, of just texting sometimes me. Sometimes I text. Uh, this was old though. I text you though. Right? I'll be like, what you doing? Do I not? I don't. Most of the time I text I don't. You. Like recently I, don't. I had texted you and you was like, oh, I was just about to text you. I, I was. was oh, Jesus Christ, though. No, you wasn't. Bruh, I swear to God. Yes, I was. That's the problem. You think just because I pissed you off and then when we start talking for a little bit. I'm supposed to hit you up. Like you can hit me up too. I know. And if you don't, I hit you up when I'm no longer mad. And that take like 30 days. Cause let me cool down. What is your thoughts when messing with a girl that's been broken? I feel as though me personally, if she broken, she don't need to be dealing with me. You need that time to heal, and that's where a lot of people go wrong at. Like feeling they they trying to fill that that hole with love. Like you feel as though if you're broken at another guy. It's his job to come fix you and build you back up. When, um, like, you have to heal yourself first. You gotta make sure you're good within yourself first before you go searching for love or getting in another relationship. Cause that can only tear you down more. So once you're repaired and you feel as though you're good, steady and stable and ready to get in another relationship, that's when you do so. And the guy, it's the guy's job, you know, to 
continue to make you feel secure with yourself and everything. But if you're broken, I do not recommend you getting in another relationship, talking to anybody. Talk to yourself, look in the mirror and tell you what you need to do differently. Now I'm not saying like blame you, but what I'm saying is like, just, you know, talk to yourself. Put your standards where they should be. Like, don't allow another guy to do what you just went through and break you back down to that point. Like, that's what I mean by self-reflect. Don't allow yourself to get back down to that point. So that's for all the females that's listening. And it goes the same for guys, cause like, you got some soft guys out here. Like that's, they got some soft feelings. So, you know, and it's some grimy women out here. So it goes for both ways. If you broken, don't go getting in another relationship. I agree, but I kind of did the opposite of that. Um, first of all, I was, I was never broken, first off. <laughs> but <laughs> let's, just, let's just put that out there. I was just not trying to date no one else. Sometimes you gotta take the shot. So, and either you can be broken nerve. You can make it or miss it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, that's why I, I took the shot, and now I'm here. Cause if I didn't take the shot, I probably would've missed out on this opportunity. No cap. If she made the shot from the three point line. No, you made the shot. <clears throat> come on, come on now, stop the playing bit. with me. Stop playing with me. The LG season is approaching. I know I ain't got COVID because I got tested, so. And I know I ain't got COVID because she always with me. So, if I had COVID, she would have had it. Not necessarily. Yes. You could be a, a symptomatic, whatever they call it. If your partner intercourse wasn't good, would you tell them? Damn, that's a tricky one. I feel like if you were dating, like if we in a relationship, like you just try to do something to spice it up next time. To try to make sure <laughs> that it's, it's, it get better. You know, like, or just tell her, like, do this. Like, don't tell her, like, yo, that was trash. Like, just tell her, like, yo, do this next time. Or, like, let's try this. Let's try this position. Da, da, da. Not dating and this was just somebody you did that with, then nine times out of ten, you just not going to return to that. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, last question. Last question, because we answered a lot, didn't we? I'm going to let you pick which question you want to answer. Let's close our eyes, and we're going to let Bay decide what he want to answer. Babe, can I have a kiss for good luck? Turn this way. Bro. You see, how would you like for a girl to act when y'all first link? So, like, the first day. I'm going to say, act how you act. Like, don't fake it. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, that's what's going to make that person attracted to you. Just being yourself. Not putting on a front because one, if they do get attracted to the person you're acting as if you are, when they really get to know you, that's not who you are. So my thing is just be yourself. Cause if that person is for you, they won't accept you for who you are. So that's my thing. I personally want you to be yourself on the first date. She was being her shy self on our first date. Like she was just so shy. I am. When I first meet you. But she still showed her personality. Like when we went into the little the little stores, she was trying on clothes, dancing in the mirrors and everything. Like we still had fun. She was still being herself. And then he held my hand in the movie theater and I almost cringed. What you mean you almost cringed? I almost cringed. Why? Because it was cringy. You told your peoples that were your friends? No. Like this nigga held my hand. You always ask me not tell my friends something like no. I did tell my friends like when you got me flowers and shit. I sent them a picture of the flowers. Who? Keely, Moel, and Joy. Keely and Aaliyah. I think that's it. And Tamia. And they was like, oh girl, who you with? And then I told them. And they was like, oh, again? Not again. Yeah. I don't like first Lincoln. I wish we could have skipped the first link and get straight to the point because it's so awkward like first of all like before i um was dating keon like when i would go on links or whatever it was always awkward i don't know if it was me if it was a guy probably me but it just felt awkward like i was like yeah this is never happening again was our first link awkward no but you guys that is it for tommy's tease episode five featuring Hope y'all finish your tea Cheers. <sighs> Clink. Featuring my boyfriend, thanks, Bay, for mm -hmm. answering these questions for my ladies. Ladies, I hope we answered your questions. Yes. What the hell?
No, thank you. I hope we answered you guys' questions, and I hope my bae helped y'all. Featuring me in that first episode with the invisible T. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry. I'm having trouble with the connection. Bro. Please try again in a moment. If you guys aren't subscribed to our channel already, make sure you guys go do that now. We are Tommy and Key. Link down below in the description box. TK Mafia. You know the vibe. If you in TK Mafia and you watching my channel, spam the comments with this emoji. And if you got a droid, spam um They the still got that. Oh, well yeah. And if you don't got the emoji, just put game. I love you all. We'll see you guys in the next video.